Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Alexi Fennell and we will be talking today about the UDM Pro from Ubiquiti. Now this is an all-in-one router which has the ability to do switching. It also has the ability to do your camera systems and VoIP. All of Ubiquiti's suites of different services are integrated into one unit, one one U unit. So today we'll be doing the unboxing, checking out the different features, setting it up, and giving you basically an overview of all the different features that they, the unit has. Now that the device is starting up, in the meanwhile, we're going to connect our WAN1 connection, which is the internet. And then we're going to also connect our computer into port one, which is going to give us our access to this device locally. So as you can see, there's eight ports on this. These are all LAN connection, no PoE. Then we have the WAN internet. We also have a 10 gig one connection with fiber and a 10 gig LAN connection here that can give you 10 gig connection to different switches. You also have the bay here for the R drive, two different size R drives. Now let's take a look on our computer. Voila, here's a beautiful intro for the device once you're connected to the network. And then now you're going to actually be required to agree to the terms and condition and name the device. Now I'm just going to add OM to the actual existing word. Press next and then we're going to enter in our credentials for Ubiquiti single sign on schedule. And then we're going to accept these configuration and then you're going to be required to do a speed test. Now this is the speed that I'm currently getting now. It's going to be doing upload and download and once that is now completed it's going to give you the results and you just click on next show you an overview of what you have done and now it is doing the final setup of the device now after that now you can see the main page now which is showing you all the different services that can be operating on this however we will only be going on the network section so let's go on that one and the network section now is going to give you an overview of what is happening in the network section of the UDM Pro. Now, as you can see, they're showing you the current speeds and it shows you the different type of tabs that are at the side. It is only showing you one device at the moment, which is the, just the Dream Machine. So, you know, we can add more devices and each device will show up in the device area. So on the next note, let us try and see if we can set up an uh, independent Wi-Fi network. Now we're going to go to the classic mode, which is more user-friendly in my term. I rather use it because it's easier to find the things quicker than in the last generation, the new one, I should say. So we're going to give it a name Wi-Fi 1 for the new SSID. And then we're going to add a password to it, which is going to be password one. There we show it. And then we're going to go down now to networks and we're going to go to LAN. But we're going to create a new network. But in the advanced settings now, we can go down to where you have to where you have the option to select the speed, but it's only default at the moment. We're going to set that up as well. So in order to create the user groups are the different type of groups now in terms of their bandwidth. As you can see there it's unlimited, but we're going to now create one by 10 by 10, which is going to be 10 megabits per second down and 10 megabits per second up. 
this is a per user rate limit so each individual client connected to the access point is going to be limited by 10 megabits per second so let's change those settings and then we're going to save the settings and then we're going to go over to the network now over to the network section we are just going to create a network quick and fast it's just going to be a test network but just to make things a bit quicker and this video not to take too long we're going to just fast forward it a little okay All right, so there you have it for the network. We're gonna go over back to the wireless network so that we could apply these settings. Oops, seems like we didn't save that one. So let's create a new network since we didn't save that one. So um, we're gonna create a guest network now. Just gonna call it guest. And we're going to apply the guest policies as well this is the ability for it to use um, the web page and we're going to create set it to the guest network and advanced settings now we're going to go down to the 10 by 10 so this is limiting the client and giving them the web page now where is this web page um, and this network access for these clients so we're going to go over now to guest control we're going to enable guest control and this is a similar look of what it would look like for the splash page now as it regards now to the authentication there are very few authentication or should i say a lot of them where you can basically use um, password you can use credit cards facebook and quite a few but right now for this moment we're going to use the hotspot but there are other ones that you can actually use so we're going to use the hotspot and then we're going to also scroll on. As you can see, the hotspot area is actually showing you where the voucher needs to go. But um, what if you want to also add like a password? So we can also add a password where if you have like a simple password, they can have access to the network just the same. Where you can change this simple password as well if you want but these are all the different various type of authentication that this system supports so we're going to look for the one with the password um, i think that's the card one for the external portal but we're going to go to the the password sorry about that password and then it's going to ask you to to enter the password yeah bye bad i need to enter the password now and then the password is gonna be password so just let's put in that and then apply those settings and let's check on that back now all right so these network here are working and set up now we need to add devices now to the actual unit. So let's go and add some devices so that we can actually provision them with these settings that we have just created. Now, as you can see here, we have our dream machine, we have our 24 port switch, and we have an access point on the top of everything there with a white light ready to be adopted and they are both connected with fiber optic cables as you can see right there in the image so let's connect them so when you go back to our dashboard now we're going to look for our new device as you could see there it pops up there for the access point but when you go into the device area you're going to see that there's a switch there we just adapt that and then we see the access point as well we're going to just adapt that as well so we're going to adapt these it's going to look for the latest firmware to ensure that they're both on this the latest firmware and once they are upgraded they will be provisioned and then they will set up with the new 
instruction and configuration that we have done already. All right, so now that we have configured the both devices, or should I say adapt them, we can now go into the settings of the switch and we can see when we hover over this port, we're actually seeing the name of the access point. It's now at default, but let's give it a change. So let's change the name and see if it actually shows the different name in the, in the actual port. So let's change this and we're going to name this home Wi-Fi. And this is very helpful when it comes on to large networks. When you have networks with hundreds of devices and hundreds of ports, and you need to actually know which device is connected to which port, this is a big helper. Because sometimes we might change things in networks and documentations might not have been updated. And this would help a lot in that section. So let's go back into the settings and check over this port. As you can see, the name has changed to home Wi-Fi now. So once you have your network laid out like this and connected to a switch with the access point, you will have access to see the name of the actual access point on each individual port. And sometimes they will even show you a phone or whatever device or a computer that's connected to it and show you the host name on that port. So now that we connected and named the access point, let's go ahead and name and name the actual switch which the devices are connected to just for labeling purposes and documentation of how you should actually set up a network, the basics. So now that we add this name to it now, how about we go ahead and create a new Wi-Fi network so that we could have two reference in terms of one with the splash screen and one without it, one with limit and one without the speed limit. Now this one won't have any limit. We're going to give this one office Wi-Fi and we're going to give it the password, password, which I hope nobody actually gives their password that name. And then we're going to leave it to default, which is unlimited bandwidth. And then that's basically it. We just hit the save button. And then now it's going to provision. Those are two Wi-Fi names that are there now. If you go back over to the settings now, over to the device area, you're seeing where it is actually saying that it is getting ready which means that it's basically provisioning the actual device to get the new name. So on the phone, we can go to our Wi-Fi settings and now we're going to connect to the guest network, which is the guest that we have created. Now you can see the splash screen came up. Now let's enter our password, which is password. And once we press connect, that's it. We can now press done at the top and will let us look by pressing the little I in the corner there to see if we got the network that we created. And yes, we did. So this is on the separate network that we had created. Now you can set policies and rules just the same for that. And let's test the speed. And the speed now is supposed to be 10 megs by 10 megs. Now, there could be various factors why we don't get a full 10 meg, but it will go as much as close as possible. And we're going to do our upload now. So as you can see, the speeds are not very far off, but they actually show as close as possible to the speed that we have limited to. Now let's take a look at the other network that we have created which is the office Wi-Fi. We're going to now enter the password, which is password. And once we enter that password, oops, wrong. So let's try again, password, join. There we go. Now, now that we've connected now to this network, let's go ahead and do a speed test. And this is the speed test with the unlimited amount of bandwidth. Well, whatever is available. But it is not capped like the 10 megs that we had before. So as you can see, the limit was off for this 
network versus the other one which had just 10 megabits per seconds up and down this one has more like 56 up to 20 megs up and there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching the video and please subscribe thank you for watching the video to the end and please subscribe hit the notification bell please like share and show some love all right so thank you again have a great day one love